What is up, YouTube and Raider Nation? It is your boy Raiders underscore 1995, a.k.a. Byron. What is going on, Raider Nation? First off, two, two, two important things I want to say. Uh, shout out to uh, to this dude on Instagram, Ben Stacking Ends. Uh, go ahead and give him a follow. I want to give him a huge shout out for sending me this chain as a gift. This shit is icy as fuck right here. Look at that. Don't pay attention to my nails because I bite my nails a lot. But look at this icy ass fucking chain, bro. I appreciate that 100%, bro. Didn't even have to give me it. Got it, you know, just as a gift, man. And I appreciate it, fam. I really do, man. Uh, so I'm going to leave his uh, Instagram in the uh, description. Uh, ben Stacking Ends, if I believe. I know there's some uh, underscores in there, but uh, I'll, I'll, at the video, I'll put it in there. And then another thing, I already know I shouted out this dude before. But I got this hat as well. Uh, how do you say your name? Hold on. You told me You told me on Facebook too. Uh, Santini Sanchez, man. Added me on Facebook, man, and sent me this hat free as a gift. I really appreciate the gifts, Raider fam. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to do some type of giveaway or something because, you know, I feel bad because I'm just getting all these gifts. And I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, Raider Nation. I appreciate it, fam. Love every single one of y'all. And thank y'all, thank y'all too for giving me the chain and and the hat. I, I appreciate it one hundred percent, man. Um, and now uh, to the game. We're seven and two, first place in the division again. Knocked off the Super Bowl champion Broncos from first to third place. Uh, <clears throat> T.J. Ward, stay salty. Calls out Amari Cooper. Calls out Crabtree, saying they're just good, not elite. And then after the game said, oh, whatever, they didn't win the Super Bowl. We'll see them again in December. You one salty-ass nigga, man. You can't just go like, hey, we lost. That's what you get for thinking you Sherman, my nigga. But anyways, we're not on that. We're here about the game. Murray had a big game, over 100 yards rushing. The offensive line just bullied, bullied Denver's defensive line. Kalechi Osemele, my God, man. I'm glad we got you in free agency. All you heard from the announcer was Kalechi Osemele is just bullying, pancaking dudes, getting four or five pancakes and all that type of shit. Donald Penn holding shit down, man. We went from, also, I, I, I didn't want to forget. We went from 23 penalties last week just to eight today. I mean, yesterday. Proud of you, man. Proud of y'all. I'm, and, and, and. I was expecting a lot of big penalties. We didn't have that much big penalties, man. The defense came through, except for that one fucking screen pass that went all the way for 69 yards. You minus that defense was holding down shit. DJ Hayden improved drastically. I was I was one hating on DJ Hayden at the beginning of the season, even asking why is he playing slot when TJ carries. DJ's been holding shit down, man. He really has. TJ Carey was holding shit down. David Amerson was holding shit down. Reggie Nelson got an interception. Khalil Mack. They said he had two sacks, but I thought he only just had that one. I thought Bruce Irvin got that uh that one uh strip sack. But I could be wrong. I could I I, I gotta look at the instant replay again. But it said that he had two sacks. So now that is four straight games Khalil Mack has had a sack. And now that should be seven sacks, I I, I believe. And a forced fumble, that'd be two forced fumbles. I tell y'all, man, that's the thing about Khalil Mack. In the beginning of the season, it's kind of like, where's Khalil Mack at? Why hasn't he got any sacks yet? And then it's like later in the season is where he starts piling up sacks. This is the same thing that happened last year when he had the second most sacks. At the beginning of the season, wasn't all the ways there. Then like in in, in the half second half of the season, bro kicked it into another gear and got 15. And now he has seven right now, so... Proud of you, Khalil, man. I really am. Uh, this team, man. Derek Carr, man. Against one of these top, one of the most, the number one stopping passing defense and didn't throw an interception. TJ Ward, my boy, you thought you had an interception, but you didn't with your salty ass. I'm, I'm going to stop right there because I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ray Nation. It just pissed me off what TJ Ward said. And then after the loss, I was expecting him to say some shit like, you know, hey, we lost. But he over there like, we, but fuck him. Anyways, next subject. Let's continue. Um, 
Man, it's just, it's, it's, it, we're seven and two. And the bye week comes. We got a bye week. We got a week off. And hopefully, Aldon Smith and Mario Edwards Jr. can come back. I'm really hoping for that because if they come back, this defense going to be problems. Proud of this fucking squad. Derek Carr didn't turn the ball over. He only got sacked one, one, what was it, one or two times? I remember Von Miller got one sack. So, hey, it's Von Miller, so there ain't nothing we can do about it. But, man, in prime time, and we were not letting go of that lead. As soon as we got the lead, man, we made sure they wasn't going to do nothing. Defense was getting those three and outs for us. We just kept going down the field, and, and, and we just we just made it happen, y'all. Say, oh, yeah, you're going to stop our receivers? Okay, can you stop our run game? We had over 200 yards rushing. Not only just Latavius Murray, but uh, Jalen Rashad, man. That boy was showing up, too. And we, we and this is a kind of thing that we've kind of not, not really struggled, but, you know, we're known as a passing team, and we usually don't run the ball like that. And here it is, we did it. On Denver's defense, what was it the number three ranked defense? Yeah, they were vulnerable and stopping the uh, stopping the run, but I'm just I'm just I'm just proud of this team, man. Derek Carr just in there in in the pocket, scrambling around, just making big plays happen, giving it to Amari, giving it uh, Crabtree. I think only had one catch, but fuck it, we'll take it. You know, one day somebody gonna go off, one day the other person gonna go off. Just I'm just Red Nation. Y'all have no idea, man. Seven and two. We won seven games last year. We were seven and nine last year. Midway through the season, we're seven and two. And we get a bye. And the next game is going to be a primetime game again in Mexico versus the Houston Texans. And I'm going to be sad because I ain't going to be able to see that game because of the work schedule I'm going to get. But it is what it is. I'm proud of this squad, man. Like, all this gear you see that I have has been collected for years for moments like this when we're just, we're on top. We have the second best record in the AFC behind the, behind the Patriots. The Patriots. Man, if we make playoffs, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a legit cry. I, 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 no bullshit. I probably ain't gonna cry to y'all because, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tough nigga, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... <laughs> But yeah, I might. I just might, man, because this is crazy. Feels like I'm just in a in a dream right now. We legit. We just our team looks legit in 2016. All this talk about oh you can't you're you beating up the uh, the softer teams. Oh you you're barely winning against the the Jaguars and and all these other teams. You should be beating by the points. And it was like oh Denver's gonna be the real test. And what happened? Ran the ball down they fucking for throw. But they probably gonna still have excuses, Red Nation. Oh, we'll keep the Leibles in play. Okay, that's cool. We wasn't passing that well. I mean, passing that well. We wasn't passing that often. He was running it. Sorry, we was the healthier team. But guys, I'm just, I'm just fucking. I'm, uh, man, I'm just so hyped. Uh. Man, just enjoy it, Royal Nation, man. Just just enjoy every second of it. I'm going into work with this shirt on right here. Can't bring any chains or none or hats or anything like that. But I will I will wear this. I got my Derek Carr socks. I'm about to wear I, I, I would show y'all, but yeah, I'm not gonna have show you, put my leg all the way up to the camera just so y'all can see a sock. But anyways, uh seven and two. First place in the division. Don't sleep on Kansas City, y'all. Um, we get a week off. Next week is going to be boring for us Raider fans. Uh, I'm going to try to find something to do on some, Sunday. I'm going to watch all the all the games and all that stuff. But I got to find something that's going to, you know, get me in the spirits until the next week. But uh, Raider Nation just, we're 7-2. and two. And we won seven games last year. Shit is crazy, man. We we really look like a legit team in 2016. We really do. Uh, that's that's all I got to say, man. Uh, tell me y'all comments in the comment section about what y'all thought about this game, uh, what y'all thought about TJ Ward. And, uh, yeah, 
And uh, I'll leave the uh, link, uh, uh, the the link. What am I saying? Uh, the 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 handle. Uh, what is it called? The fucking. Uh, the dude that that gave me the chain. I'm gonna put his Instagram, uh, Instagram stuff in the uh, 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 in the description box. So please, uh, please, you know, show him some love. And also, Raider Nation, if y'all haven't noticed, that smoke alarm hasn't gone off once yet because I actually changed the damn battery. I told y'all I was gonna change that alarm. Anyways. Love y'all, Raider Nation. Seven and two. Second best in the AFC. We on our way. Love y'all, Raider Nation. Peace out, and I will see y'all in the next video. And uh, go Raiders, bruh.